Auto keyframe mode is awesome. That's all I have to say. It allows you to focus on your animation in your comp panel without really worrying too much about twirling open properties like position and scale and so on. You make your animation changes up here and they will add keyframes for you. To do that, we simply have to enable this stopwatch. Now this is artwork from a video game I'm working on and the goal for this lesson is to have this character start out over here and kind of bob up and down once or twice as he heads this way with his hair attached, which is fire, and the background moving just a little bit to the right. So the first thing I want to do is parent things together. I need to get the hair to follow the body. So I'm going to first of all take the hair and put it where it belongs. Then I will take the hair layer, grab the pick whip, and drag it on top of the body. And now when I grab the body, you see that the hair stays with it. The next thing I'm going to do is move the character over where I want him to start moving. And then I'm going to grab my background and move it over a little bit so I have some room for a scroll going this way. All right, I think I'm set up. So I'm going to go back to the body and I'm going to click right here to turn on auto keyframe mode, which I call auto magic. So now with this guy on, I can simply move to another frame in my animation. And as you see, I don't have too many frames here on purpose so I could just focus on this process. And I'll grab the character and I'll move him over like so. I'll hit the home key. And as you can see, nothing really happened because we only have one motion. So from this position, I'm going to put him back over here on the first keyframe. Now, when I scrub, you see that he moves over. How cool is that? Now that we have some motion, I'll go over just one frame and I'll move him up a little bit. Once again, it's recorded for me because this guy is on. I don't have to add keyframes. I don't have to do anything and I can scrub and now he moves up and down. The beautiful thing about this is that his hair, because it's parented, can still be animated independently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the hair and on this second frame here, I'll move the hair like right here. And I'll move over a little bit and I'll move the hair back up. And we'll see that the hair moves too. Last but not least, I'll grab the background. So I'm going to go to the last frame and I'm going to take the background and I'm going to click on it down here and move it over a little bit, just a little bit. I'll hit home on my keyboard and then we have motion all around. All of the elements should move. And let me just go ahead and put this background here just to get a little motion here. And there we go. Because I'm using so few frames, I have to just make sure that everything's working by just double checking and going back and forth. Of course, auto keyframe mode works great on its own, but as you see there, sometimes you'd have to scrub the current time indicator just to make sure things are working according to the plan. The goal pretty much is put things where they should start, move over a little bit in the timeline, change something, go anywhere else in the middle of your animation and make another modification. So let's say I want the character to wind up up here. I'll grab the body and I'll go to the last keyframe here and I'll move him up a little higher like so. Likewise, I can also grab the keyframes themselves. I don't have to just do them here. I can modify them and tweak them and change the curves. So now he'll do something like this as he animates. So I have really a whole bunch of a choice when it comes to how I'm going to do this. I can take these handles and I can have him go straight down and I can make that curve nice and neat by adjusting the handles. And now he goes down. And that is the beauty of using auto keyframe. As you saw there, I didn't twirl open any properties at all. It's really a great way to get fast, efficient animation that in my opinion is a lot more natural because you're changing the parameters of the character's animation as you watch it in the current time indicator and in the comp composition window itself.